Do you know who we've got today, fam? Hornart is just a legend, innit? You're a legend. I'm honoured to be here. I gotta whip these packs and potions, and I gotta whip these packs and potions. <laughs> No, but shout out to Hazy though. Do you know how much phlegm you need to have to I be a know. scouser, bro? Best scouse accent you've got, go. I'm from Liverpool. That was decent. I'm from Liverpool and I... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. TikTok's influence on the music industry Yeah. Is insane. Uh, the Basset Challenge. The track that was the Doja Cat. Um, the Silhouette Challenge. That challenge, by the way. <laughs> I thought it was childish. To be fair, see what I'm saying. There's right. a point we've got to draw the line. Yeah, cool. You not draw the line. I'm just letting you know I've got them saved in my phone, innit? <laughs> the Drake situation. Oh my, I didn't think we were gonna talk about this. Just hold on, I'm getting Tabasco. Molly May. If you haven't seen it, you, I don't know where you have been online anyway. She came across as insensitive. It's just not a level playing field. Now, having said that, do you know how many people have said exactly the same thing that she has said before? Probably shouldn't have talked about it if she wasn't going to address it in a better way than she did. The way it was said. It was a little bit silly, isn't it? If you go on Love Island, you cannot tell me how to use my 24 hours Why? a day. Where? Bro, do you know how much phlegm you need to have to be a scouser, bro? <laughs> where? That's where COVID came from. Back road I gotta whip these packs and potions and I gotta whip these packs and potions. <laughs> these packs and potions. Tommy could do. Yeah, <laughs> the chord change at the end. Woo! We're Wait. inside. We go straight we're in. We're inside. We're going straight in. Yes. Yeah, so do you know who we've got today, fam? The what? Rhino! The white rhino. Is white rhino, is that what we're officially we're going with? No, we're going with that still. That. I actually oh. love it. Yeah. I don't even. I had silver back before this, and now it's white rhino. Like, <laughs> where are they coming from? I carry a bit of timber, but come on. <laughs> nah, it's because you know what it is. Ah, uh, you know what? We're not even gonna start off on adapting. You know what I'm saying? But the rhino element is something that I've said for a reason. Go on. You yourself proclaim to have a quite large nose. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> too? It runs in the family. Thinking, Shout out, my dad. I was thinking, where's this going? That's just me being honest, but it's fine. Why, why are you going to bring it to Sorry, that? you know Sorry. what I'm saying? Well, let me turn the camera first of all, because right now, I can't see myself. Can you do that? Oh. You need to be able to see yourself, yeah? Yeah, he's, he's one of them guys. Mm. Yeah, I remember, um, uh, what were their names? The brothers, Hodge twins. You know, they used to do the videos on YouTube, but they'd just be staring at themselves in the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not even yeah, looking at the lens, screen. just looking at the screen. Yeah. Were you telling me, all right, for real? Yeah, intros, intros, yeah, intros, proper, real proper intros. intros. So we got... We got my brother inside. Yeah, now nah, real, a real, real legend, real legend. Of the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you know me, if you know me, then you know Dave. It's as simple as that. Yeah, That's nah, my word. broski. Now nah, words. You know what? Yeah, Horner is one of the most. I could shed a tear right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Horner is one of the most legendariest oh. person. That's not English. He's one of the. This is the worst introduction. No, you know what? You know what? Because it, 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 like, I don't want to be on a joke thing. Hornart is just a legend, isn't it? You're a legend. And this is the first time he's appearing on, on The Rocks Podcast. So this is a special, special occasion. Thank you for coming on, man. I am I'm honoured to be here. Thank you. Well, I, I'll be honest. You you both will know this. You especially. I don't like being complimented. It makes me feel weird. But that was humbling and very nice. So come you. on. Man said humbling. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's such I a know, wet you. Bro. I know people will say this. People will come and say this thing. But... I listen to every single episode you've ever put out. Oh. This is the podcast of the future. So and come on. on that note, like the video, mm, like, yeah. comment, subscribe, follow, all of that. Do you get it? Be doing it. It's as simple as that, yeah. my brother Dan. It's as simple as that though. Like every time we start one of these videos, we're going to start with the same thing. Mm. It's like, comment, subscribe. If it's not that, just click off the video. Stop watching it. You're not supporting the thing properly. Do you know what though? I will say before we kick off, uh. I've, got to, I've got to pull you up on a couple bits from listening. Okay. Because first of all... Wait, what is this? We didn't get you on the show for this. No, no, no. <laughs> no gonna, first of all, I'm going to back you up. Because you even said when you said this that when I'm on, you're going to ask me about this. Yeah. Him copying shit. What okay. does that even mean? Yes. All right. Nah, now nah, this needs to be... The one that always comes down to was the hat. Remember your hat? Oh, my days, man. Oba is one of those people... I love him to bits. He's my brother. But <laughs> he's one of those people that if he sees something that looks good on you... He's gonna go buy it for himself. Wait, 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 stop before you even talk. Cause you look at you breathing but in you know ready to speak. You know, man. someone else would buy like a, a like for like. Yeah. The exact <laughs> item. Hey, listen to what I'm saying. I've done that listen twice. To me. Wait, stop, stop. I've done it Listen twice. to what I'm saying, yeah. A few years back, yeah, he was going to a, a party or some function somewhere in a different country. All right, cool. <laughs> before he went on this little excursion, yeah, 
He came to me one day. I was wearing a nice T-shirt. He came to me one day and said, oh, where'd you get that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I went and copped it straight away. Wait, 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 stop. And he not only went and copped the, like, the first one I was wearing, there was another one nah. that I was wearing the same week. And he said, I like both of them. Where did you get I, them I, from? I like got, your I honesty did, with it. No, I like I that you're one. not afraid to give someone a compliment. Yeah, no, but Fine. that's the thing. The, the, the reality is, yeah, that's a compliment to you. That means you dress well. We're not always in the same functions, one. And we don't, we don't really dress the same because the way I rocked it was a bit better than the way you rocked it on that day. Only because I was fat at the time. Now <laughs> it would be a different story. Now it would be a different story. <laughs> but do you, know, do you know what I will say? The, the one that sprung to my mind when I first saw it, when you yeah. saying it was, it's not even a copying thing. Yeah. But you all know this because I talked to you about this before. This, there was a time last year where there was a there was a motive that Obba was going to and it was <laughs> NBA themed, right? So he messages me he and knows he what says to me, he's like, look, I know you've got a few NBA jerseys. Do you mind if I borrow one? To yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. looking down the camera. I'm thinking I'm on VYB. <laughs> um, can I borrow one to do whatever? So I said, yeah, look, I've got a few. I'll give you them all so you can pick whichever one you want. Legendary so, stuff. Fine, calm, does it. I give him like three or four jerseys, wherever it was. Instagram stories start coming out of this this motive. <laughs> this is a, every this is man a... in the building is in my wardrobe. No, 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 no. And you know that why is I not knew? true. Because no, no. Do you know why I knew? Because I would have thought like, oh, calm. They must all. It's jerseys. Everyone can have whatever. Yeah. I'm not a slim guy. I'm an XL, mm. right? There's there was a guy that must have been five four <laughs> walking around in a in an Iverson jersey that was hanging off his nah, arm. Nah, 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 nah. I was what, like, that's my top. First of all, first of all, uh, no, for real. I was gonna say on my life, but I don't do that yet. <laughs> but reals, he actually had the same one. I was gonna Fair wear point. the Iverson one, but then he was wearing it, so I thought, let me wear the what was the other one? The, you wore the, the, the Shaquille O'Neal LA yeah, one. Yeah, LA but one. The, that, the baby that, blue. That was cold, but that's mm. the type of guy Horner is, you know. He gave me oh. options, thought that I gave it to the man them. That's not what I done. So don't <laughs> think that one that stuff. I've just been dishing out. <laughs> Every man gets a jersey. It's the sort of thing he would do. It so is the kind of yeah, I wouldn't have put it past him. That's, that's nuts, bro, because that's literally, if someone got, stain, it, got it stained or whatever, that would have been... Looks bad on me, man. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> that was the that was the one of of two things I wanted to from from previous episodes was okay. that I was going to back you up on that. Cool. And there was one other thing that you guys talked about on an episode of this, and it was a it, the only reason I wanted to bring it up was because it piqued my interest. The conversation I thought it was wh where my mind went to with it was an interesting note. It was when you were talking about how many girls is the right amount of girls you can introduce to your, your mum. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's yeah, a very yeah, interesting yeah. discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, the, the the reason I wanted to bring it up is because my thought process, listening to it, you know when you're listening to a podcast, you almost pause it to give your opinion. Mm. That was me in the car. <laughs> so my feeling was, naturally, I almost go, well, one, I want my mum to meet one girl. Like, that's, if I, if if you could pick and choose the way things go, because it should be the one person that's special and whatever. Cool. But, the more I thought about it, is that... <clears throat> My mum has met two two girls that were in my life at the time, yeah, right? Yeah. One of them being my, I said current sounds bad, doesn't it? It's like, it's gonna end. <laughs> nah, my forever. Oh, oh, hey. oh I got him. Look what oh. we're dealing with here. Uh, but that the point the I ick. was making, <laughs> <laughs> he'll cut that out. Um, the point I was making was, I would actually say two, right? Because okay. going through a relationship ending mm. seeing your how your mum reacts to that and then how when you then obviously don't go through things with other people afterwards yeah 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 what was i think a good point was that my 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 relationship with my mum became better mm. right. as a result of going through stuff with the first right, yeah, so that yeah, she yeah, knew yeah, when yeah, i brought yeah. along my current again current nah when <laughs> i brought home d it was a case of like okay this girl is obviously important and means yeah, something yeah, 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 and yeah, i yeah. think it was a better it was a better way to do it. I so my answer like to your question still. would be two. I like that. I like that. I like that. I want to actually know what people think as well. I don't think people actually interacted too tough with that. Nah. How many people is is enough to take over to your mum? Mine's one or two as well in it. So I hear it. You know, yeah, you know. My, mine's that as well, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah, <laughs> one or two, man. Yeah. No, <laughs> anyway, take onto off. the onto the music scene right now in the UK because we got these packs and burners. <sighs> got these packs and burners. Hazy. You do your best Liverpoolian accent right now, best scouts. I'm from Liverpool. That was decent. I'm from Liverpool, and I, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got whipped these packs and packs. <laughs> <laughs> now that's all I got. You do yours. You do yours. Now nah, I want to hear your thing. 
Mine, Best okay. Scouse accent you've got, go. Supposedly, if you're going to do a Scouse accent, it's about the way you do accents is about what you say. 100%. And apparently, uh, chicken and chips and a can of Coke is the way yeah. you do a Scouse accent. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Chicken and chips and a can of Coke. Mm. That's a Scouse accent. See what I'm saying? Chicken and chips and a can of Coke. Ooh. How do you mess it up? I know. That was, like, no, I that was, I that was decent. See you, man. I'm an actor, you know. Don't get it twisted. I you. can do yeah, bro, you see me on singer. your skin. He says he's an actor. He says I, swear, he's a... I swear, I remember the singer when he had that trilby on. Do you remember in the Albert <laughs> Hall, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not bring that up again. <laughs> bro, everything under the sun, man's an and adventurer. I'm a, I'm a creative. I'm a creative. <laughs> I'm a creative. Go on, it. run that one again. I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> Do your live a puddle. Come on, you got to step up. Live a puddle. Live a puddle. That's the one. Live a Scouse. What was it? Chicky, what was it? Chicken and chips and a can of Coke. So it's chicken and chips and a can of Coke. Yeah, there you go. That's you it. see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but you, you had time it. to think about that. I went first. It takes a no, lot you of. Didn't. It take. Yes, I did. You've it been take... doing it the whole time. No, I've, <laughs> I've been whipping <laughs> packs and pounds. That's all I've been doing. That's all I've been doing. No, but shout out to Hazy though. Did you like actually take in? I took that... it in still. And you know what? Before we even kick this off, big up Black Box because yeah, yeah, yeah. that platform yeah has been given has been given like young kids just. A platform for time. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a window into like a younger generation. That's where, I, that's where I first heard Jay Huss. That's what I'm saying to you. Bear man. Mm. There's enough names that I can reel off who had a big up chef. Big up my brother Dave. Chef's got a black box on there. Is like, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My guy. But do you know what it is? I feel like that platform, it kind of gets overlooked a little bit because they get those people at such an early position. Mm. Like I remember when Abracadabra did his one and showed it. That was huge. You get me? And then off the back of that was the whole robbery team with crept into the but I just had to give them like a shout out real quick, car. They've been doing their thing for I think time. They're getting a lot of recognition now though. I think a lot of people I hope are, they are, are taking in. I think that freestyle is like an hour, an hour something long and it's got like almost a million views. Or Partly probably because of my man though. Yeah, 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 100%. But some of the other people on it were, were hard yeah, they, as well. And they were all under 18. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. That's what's mad about it. And I think that's what will, like when you're talking about it's the first place you saw X, Y, Z, it's like yeah, that's yeah. obviously, they haven't carved a niche of it because obviously they do whoever, but if if you can create almost yourself as a destination, as the place where you're going to potentially find the new untapped talent, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're set because it's never going to stop. It's, do you know what I mean? It's a, yeah. Do you remember, um, do you remember um, who, what, 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 where? Yeah. How yeah. did we get right there? Like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. How, who and what and where? That Big, was Black Box as well. Like, they brought yeah. us some legendary viral moments. Yeah, you nah, know? they have still. And the way they do their camera work as well. Hard. Yeah, they, like, they're, they're I can't lie, gravy. they've been doing their thing. But like that, go on, go, I want, because I want to talk about this a little bit. Because for the longest, like, UK rap, I feel, has been siphoned off to the to London, yeah? Mm. Then the Brumute started doing it. Mm. Not started Manny. doing it, but started getting their recognition. Mm. Then Manny started getting their recognition. I feel like Liverpool is the last large city that ain't got its recognition. No, you know we, what I'm we need a Geordie. There's a few stuff no, we, we need. Don't, a, you know. We need a guy from Newcastle. And we need we need someone from Newcastle. Maybe even like have you heard like Yorkshire? Do you know what I mean? Like no, fam. Nah. Come no, on, no, no. Like, the Donny, Yorkshire would be. On I want to hear game. it. I want to see how it feels. There was a Donny on a rap game. Was he from Yorkshire? He was, was decent though. He was really <laughs> there was a couple. There's been a couple of men, even grime MCs that used to do. That he was from Leeds. Was that you know dialect or the dialect? The Donny that won rap game was from Leeds. Uh, it had dreads. Rap games had a couple Scots as well. A couple Scots. Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. That that Donny. The, um, oh, you're oh, talking about Crepton Conan's thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ransom was Scottish. I can't remember. I can't remember his name, but I Black think guy. I know who you're talking about. Did he win? No, he didn't win. Maybe I don't know. He was in it quite. Uh, he was in it towards the end. What was the youth from Paisley? What was his name again? Do you know what I'm talking about? The white youth, and he had like he he spit mad fast. And he was on rap game oh, as well. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. who you're talking about. What was his name? I can't but remember. You know who I'm talking about, yeah, though, yeah, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, been a couple that, se that season was hard. But no, nah, I think going back to Hazy, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. Even though it was just that one moment, I took it in, went on his page, mm. saw a few. I'm happy he got signed still. Mm -hmm. Like, I think mm -hmm. he can actually be the the guy for Liverpool still. He's cold. One thing I'll say, if he ever, not that he would be, but if he's watching, brother, keep the mask on. You reckon? You know, 100%. But the mask thing slightly not played out like you. It's, it's, if you just stay consistent with the mask thing, it elevates your thing, bro. Promise you. Why though? <clears throat> because there's a, there's a level of intrigue that comes from that 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 I think helps people buy into someone. Mm. Also, <clears throat> even not even just the intrigue in the fact of who is it. The idea of like, look at like the M Huncho thing when mm -hmm. when when people were were almost people were getting angry at the idea that someone baited out. Yeah, who right, it yeah, was. yeah, yeah, and yeah. That, 
that's almost, it creates a bit of a tribalistic thing amongst your fan base that they protect who you are. Mm. Cass's I mean? Dead was the first one to kind of do. And I don't think anyone's mastered. done it better. No one has. No. Cass is Dead is, is by far and away, yeah, the most successful at keeping his identity yeah. safe. Who's that? You don't know Cass is Dead? Mm-mm. Wow, but Sam. see, this is what I'm saying though. I'm, when I'm I talk about UK rappers, I can't argue with him about UK and US rap because he doesn't know UK rappers. Yeah, but who Cassie's is dead? I'm surprised. I would have thought you would Give me a track. Have... You won't know any of it. If you yeah, don't know him, you don't know him, innit? No, but no, no. Say, for example, like, uh, you know, Giggs, Hollow and Heston. That's mm. got Cass is dead on it with him. Bro, I'm going to put you on because you see Cass is dead. The lyricism, mm. really, and yeah, the content. No, I'm open <clears> to take him in. He's but, got a uh, he's got a track he brought out recently with LaRue. Remember LaRue? No. In for the kill. I'm going probably, in going oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah he's got yeah, a track yeah. about a called tune Park that. Assist. Lyrics. That's a that's a banger. It's actually a sample. And shout out to my brother because my brother told me this. He clocked it when he first heard it. Yeah, it's a sample of Party Next Door. Um, it's right now. Oh, is it? Yeah, I you listen that in. that first bit that for, that well, it's it, the whole way through, but that bit that plays that kind of ele- electro sounding eighties thing. Yeah, that's the beat that's playing in the background of of. Um, Right now, but no, big up Joe Horner because he's good at recognizing samples he's got, he's and got stuff. Ear for music, the boy. I can't lie. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I like, I'd be like oh, yeah, that's a sample thing. I'm playing <laughs> yeah, it too. Yeah, man, never man. even clocked it. You got what yeah. I'm saying? But um, now, what was I going to say? He got signed by Sony. Big him up, man. So that's wicked. He's. I think I. St- I saw a video of him in the studio, yeah. and I saw um, someone put a line that they need to. They need to do like a. He needs to do like a mega link up with like just all the biggest white youths right now. <laughs> so get him and RD. <laughs> Him and, the him most and, racist um, cipher yeah, of all time. Him and H. <laughs> him and H. Yeah, like and then, keys and yeah, and yeah. Then, yeah, him and keys as well. I saw <laughs> it's that. It's sick though. I mean, it wouldn't be sick for what it is, but it would be kind of cool to see it happen. Yeah. It would be so like the, the amount of hate that it would get oh, would be, be insane, yeah. bro. But you know what? You know what I really like uh, what he done because you know normally as a freestyler, yeah, when you're doing them ciphers, you're not really. Like it's looked down upon. I'm not an artist, but I know it's looked down upon to look at your phone in it. Mm, yeah, but yeah, yeah. that it was there, and that is his biggest moment. And I don't know what he was thinking, but in that moment, he might have been thinking, mm, "Should I, should I bring my phone out to get these bars out?" Yeah, then he yeah, just yeah. done it, and now he's he's gone, bro. Nah, and I feel him because the power of TikTok was on full display with this situation. Crazy, bro. <clears throat> bro, all it takes is for one clip to just get a little bit of traction. Then when people start flinging it out left, right, and center, you're Full gone. Football TikToks, clubs are using it. TikTok's influence on the music industry, yeah, is insane, crazy. Mm. Like, um, and I don't, I actually, I don't. You almost don't want to say this because I don't want to knock the guy's craft otherwise. But yeah. like, Ardy's success, yeah, yeah can yeah. be so, can be put down a huge part to TikTok. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. not knocking him because like, he kept he's, it going. He's, he's, he he's kept been quality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like being able to tap into that, I know songs. From not even from me watching TikTok, I know yeah. songs from my missus watching TikTok where they just play and they get in your mind and yeah. you you know them. Yeah. So to have that, it, it's like it must be criteria. There must be teams of people at record labels now mm. that sit down and where they used to think of a hook for radio, they must mm. now be thinking of a hook for one hundred percent, million percent, one hundred percent. And if they're not, they should be doing it going yeah. forward. A facts. Because there's so many now. Like you can look back at just the past year, 2021, mm. the amount of tunes that I went viral. I ain't trying to play with everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Even, even like <laughs> as back far as, um, remember that St. John track, the Roses one? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, yeah. was like, that was early TikTok. Even, even, even uh, the Bassett Challenge. You know yeah. The maddest and that was thing an old track. Was, no, I, it was a sample. An old <laughs> track. It was a sample, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What he's just done there and you t- having a go at him, the yeah. maddest thing is that I'm so used to it with him now. I just carried on the conversation. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's just Obba. Yeah. He's just doing Obba. <laughs> What's he doing? Like, what? I, no, but I, that song is hard, bro. I ain't never played with nobody. Yeah. Yeah, Man, I I added yeah. to the yeah. What was this one? That, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was funny. Yeah, that would be um, uh, the track that was the Doja Cat. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. What was yeah, that yeah, called? Yeah. Um, Sweet? The silhouette challenge. Yeah, but the the track that challenge, by the way. <laughs> I thought it was childish. To be fair, see what I'm saying? I did. <laughs> gonna be honest. I thought there's there's a point there's where one you've got, eligible man in the room there, and he's got. A different yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a point we've got to draw the line. Yeah, cool. You not draw the line. I'm just letting you know I've got them saved in my phone, innit? <laughs> <laughs> them silhouette challenges, bro. You know what I'm saying about the silhouette challenge? <laughs> you think they got know? the fam, that and the bus it challenge, fam? Oh no, my do lord! Do you know the worst thing about that situation is? Is because like 
TikTok, your feed is, you ain't picking what's popping yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were sitting next to your girl mm. and you're just scrolling and all, all you heard was, uh, da, 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 put da, your da, hand on, you know, I so screaming to get it. But, um. and, and you've never seen, you've never seen your girl move, bang. Bro, what are you watching? As in, that period of time was amazing. Like, there was no <laughs> period of time I've enjoyed scrolling on my TL more. The when the nah, silhouette there, and the bus there challenge was some about. airfold ones that I saw, bro. There was things that don't know how to move, bro. <laughs> Is that, bro? You can't. You actually can't do some of these challenges if it's not made for you. Then. It's like she, she. Ah, uh, you know, not. Yeah, we can't say names, but fam, you know, there's girls that try. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like they try hard. Why would you consider saying names? Like, it's not. No. 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 <laughs> not, not even considering, but like they try really hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Bless Fair play to them, innit? Yeah, bless them, bless man. Them. Let me say, let me let's stay with music though, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> there there was there was, I've, I I don't feel bad for him, but I do at the same time because obviously he tried a thing, swarms. He obviously you lot saw that video of him um, when that woman was saying, "Oh, swarms, are you not delivering my? Uh, this swarms delivering my my food." And I was thinking, "Oh, people saying don't knock a man's hustle, all of this chat that you get." I agree with that. And then, and then, obviously, yeah, I, I hear it. But then he's brought out a tune. Obviously, it was promo for his tune. Yeah. Deliveroo is coming straight to you. What are we saying? We feeling it or? Personally, I'm gonna say I I rate the hustle a lot. I rate what he did. I also I even if the hustle wasn't him doing delivery, if it was just. A way of him getting the track up. yeah, getting a bit of publicity around the track, but I'm I'm not really, and I still knock to the guy. I'm just not really a Swarms fan. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make my kind of music. If I'm completely honest with you, I rate his thing in terms of like just the, like Dave said, the hustle, uh, the, what he did in lockdown as well. Big like, him up, you get me. The 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 way I don't feel like he capitalized on it though. But no, how but how fact, can you yeah. capitalize on that if you're like I'm not Tory saying Lane's capitalized yeah, on it. He's, if he's he didn't a, shoot Meg, then he artist. would have been gone because he's a sick artist. Like if you think about so you're saying this one is not a sick. I'm artist. not saying he's not a sick artist, but I'm saying he, he sounds needs, like you are. He needs a hit. Like I've heard uh, hooks where he like they're decent. Yeah, cold but Motorola. Like, yeah, that's that's Rose decent. You know what I mean? But it's those type of like hip hoppy tracks. Yeah. Where it's like people like the I'd say the culture don't really take it in as much as mm. other other songs in it. So <clears throat> with things like this, with that whole um um what am I saying? All that promo that he was doing for this song, yeah, 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 yeah. like it would make sense because it it drew traction. Everyone was thinking, oh, what's this? What's this going on? Yeah. And then because the track was dead, he's just getting heat. And I feel like there's only a few, there's only a few artists yeah. in the UK that that happens to. And unfortunately, he's in that category. And I think that that yeah. is also down to the fact that he had a bootleg version of Tory's Tory's thing. It's it's weird though, and it? it is weird that there's there is. You're right. There's there's those select few artists that you look at, and this one went deeper. But you look at like what Rams was dealing with. Yeah, a lot, I was going to mention him back. as well. Yeah, yeah and yeah. you look at even like J One was getting it a while back. Like there there does seem to be this group of people that they don't get afforded the time. That other people do. It's because they had something that blew. Remember when Lyca was it's doing the type around? of track that they had that blew. Like Lyca was a massive tune at the time, mm. right? And what was the other tune? The the Bali tune. Was it? Yeah, yeah Bali. You know what I mean? Yeah, with the Bali, yeah. you won't know it's, it's me. me. Yeah, that tune. All right, cool. So when you get tunes that blow, yeah, I feel like after a while people get sick of seeing your face. You know I, don't, what I'm I don't think it's that. I, I think I, it I is, just, bro. I think it's the type of tune, man. Like those type of tunes are just like. They're like ringtones. Do you know yeah, what I mean? So like like when, you hear, when you hear them, once yeah, when you hear yeah. them like too much, you're like, oh, turn it off. You class, but, well, you class that person as pop. Yeah, but and that's, that's it's like, hard it's like, to come out. Of. It's like you see Young T and Bugsy. They did the um, they they, they had another like TikTok moment as well. What was their tune uh, again? Uh, don't rush. Don't, don't rush. rush. That's right, a big cool. tune yeah. though. That's a big tune though. Big tune. But what I'm saying is. I feel like why don't they get the same treatment? It's not about the tune. They, they, it's get, about it's about the person. But when you see that, when you see the songs that they've released after that, it's not like they're searching for that moment again. They're no, just I agree with they're that. just Fair creating enough. I agree like with that. their type of wave <clears throat> music. Like, and I feel like they're they're in a category of their own. Where I think that that challenge even blew out of nowhere. Do you know I what I mean? Also, yeah, it's yeah. worse when you're an art, when you're a singular artist. When it's Young T and Bugsy, they can almost hide. Not hide, but you can almost like drift into the fact that no one knows. A lot of people aren't too aware of who you are as a person because the two of you. Mm. I hear it. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting though, man, because there's so many different like versions of hate online, and I don't feel like Swarms gets like 
the mad mad hate. He gets like the banter. Like he just gets and bantered. I think, that, I think that's worse. Because you're that, just banter twenty four. Yeah, isn't it? that's lo- because bro, he, he re- bro, he had meetings with his record label and his people saying we're gonna do this. This is what's gonna happen. It's gonna blow when he f- did the video like it all was making sense to him then he releases it and he's just getting cool. like he he's when he released it on twitter yeah. it had more quote tweets of people just saying what the hell is this <laughs> and it's just deep bro yeah. i must i must say though i think i think he deals with it quite well yeah he does I think swarms has has almost turned it into um a bit of i don't know what the word is but not 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 a strength because that's the the wrong but like He's managed to make himself somewhat bulletproof because it's become it's become so banterous to do it. Yeah, Even with yeah. things like the fact with with everything he went through with with like with Alhan doing it with Gasworks and stuff. Yeah, like that. yeah. It yeah, almost yeah. and the fact that he and Alhan were then calm. Yeah. Almost made it like the guy can take a joke, so it's yeah. not as kind of as serious. I think and that's the difference between him and J One because you try to put J One in a room with Lippy. It's not going to end well. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying to you? And Lippy was on J1's neck. No, but them men are too on these artists. So <laughs> it's not right. But I, the thing is, like, you cannot like artists, but the way they don't like artists. I didn't is even like, think he said anything too mad. No, but no. it's like, like, constantly on, man. No, but to, 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 this is the thing, though, yeah. You see, after that, what was it called again that Link Up was doing? Listening party. Listening party. Cool. Yeah. So he did a listening party. No, but what I'm saying, in it, he was, they was listening to J1. Mm. You get it? He's saying that this is dead. I don't like this. <clears throat> right? It's also like... In, it's his just, opinion. Do you get what I'm saying? In some regard, Lippy, he knows that one of the reasons he's like well thought of in space is, is because he's honest with his opinion. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a certain extent where I guess if you're... he does, I guess he doesn't know walking into that room to listen to that project that he's going to dislike it. Mm. Of course he doesn't. When he's sitting in the room and it's starting to play out and he's, he's feeling the way he feels about the track, like that's probably where you're in a position where... You think, okay, so I have credibility in what I say when it comes to music. What do I do in this situation? Yeah. And and I guess to, to some extent, there's people would look at it and go, well, my credibility is based on the fact that I'll say I don't like it if I don't like it. And that's the whole point. Like social commentators have so much power also over the the industry and the way people look at it. Have you seen this thing with JD like Chucky, mm. Mimi, um, Margs? Lippy's on it, as Taser's on it. That thing with JD, yeah, cool. Champions like, League of everything. <clears throat> is that what it is? Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> so when they're doing it with the artists and that, yeah, now, nah, I feel like that, because you get your major things sharing it, your Shade Burrows and these people who are sharing it, yeah, yeah. it shapes the way people think of those artists, yeah, yeah. right? They might not have even had an opinion on whoever it was that they're talking about, K-Chap, whoever. Now that they've spoken about it, they might not even even heard a tune from them. Yeah. But because Taser said this, or Lippy said that, or Mark said that, that's their opinion of them artists now. But look at, by no means, by no means, big successful influence, none of that. Yeah, yeah. You look at, we've, us with Snapchat. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. We've got... No, no, say how it is, bro. No, nine wait, million don't, views. Don't try and, nine wait, million don't views. Try and make it sound like a soft 275k bro, subs. You lot are on a mad one. The, but the point I was making was, <laughs> is that even in that space like there's certain things we talk about and we know that but it's this different if you, if you hear if you hear people talk about a person or a situation in a certain yeah, way and yeah. it's put across in the right in, in yeah. a in a compelling argument a lot of people can be influenced to, to think oh yeah that's the case but we also know that first of all we try to put forward something mindful of the fact that you can think one way or another about something. Exactly. The, the other thing is, is that we've had situations where you've put something out and people have responded to something you've put out in a certain way and you think, that wasn't how that was meant. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and yeah. it can very easily go left. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's where it's like, it, there's a... You almost have to hope that you're given enough time to say what you're going to say so that people can understand where you're coming from and your entire point, I guess That's, is what it is. Yeah. And I think sometimes, especially when things are clipped down and put out on these social channels, these yeah. little quick fire bites, they're looking for the click and they're looking for the comment. And if yeah. you want the comment, you need the controversy. There's also mm-hmm. people around you. Like when you're an artist, people are licking your ass and people just want to be in your corner. Mm. So they might just go to you and say, oh, so my man's chatting shit about you. you know? no, 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 no. These times he hasn't really yeah. said nothing mad. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, just yeah, giving yeah. his opinion. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I rated what, what RD said when he spoke to Chucky about the fact that Digger had come out on his thing and said whatever. RD 
basically just said, oh, you know what group chats are like, innit? That's basically not obviously yeah. verbatim, but that's just what he came up with. Like, fam, that's a mature way of thinking. Dealing like. with things, yeah, yeah, nah, it is true. It is true. But yeah, let, let's not stay on music for too long because there, there's been a lot of yeah, yeah, <laughs> madness that's happened, that's happened <laughs> recently. Uh, <laughs> the one of the, f- okay, I don't even know if this is funny. Yeah, you just laughed. So if it's not funny, no, you just no, it's, shot it's, yourself it's, in it's the not foot. Fun, it's not funny. Judge Obama. It's, it's about not funny, say. but the way people reacted to it was kind of mad. And I think it was uncalled for. Basically, you know Ari Lennox, right? Mm. Yes. She went to Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. And um, she tweeted on her um, Twitter that she felt like a paragraph. She felt connected with, with her roots. Like she yeah. felt like she had an out of body experience, basically. Yeah. And said that she's, she's definitely going to come back. And you know how people always say that people from America don't really know where they're from and all mm. of this stuff. So mm-hmm. obviously, some people are connecting with it and saying, oh, well done. But then there was the other side. Is she going to? I don't know. I don't think she I is. And I, I think don't that's think part of the reason why people were getting onto her. In that yeah. Way. But people got onto her to, yeah, the, to the extent where she deleted her Twitter, came back, and then said that her management is going to take over her Twitter because. Like when I say people were getting on, the hate was crazy. It was That's crazy. Mad though. Yeah. That's like, you gotta remember, people are people. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. That like everyone's just a person. And and Ghana looked lit, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ghana was my. I'm, go, I'm going this year. Was, yeah. everything was people were like finishing up at seven, eight in the morning. Morning. Bro. Listen. And when I say finish up, just going to the beach. Stop Not saying. even going. To, it looked wavy yeah, in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. My brethren is out there. Big up zings. Listen, I just watching her snaps. I'm thinking, nah, this is this looks wavy. Big up a few of them. I know, fam, I know people that are still there, bro. They're not trying to leave. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, they've yeah, extended yeah. their yeah. flights like four times. Yeah, because it's not like that. But no, I think, yeah, w- that, I just think it's deep. Like like we say all the time, socials, people just love getting onto people. Love it. And you know what? There was To be fair, there was a few people that was riding to her attention as well. Yeah. And saying, yo, you lot are doing That's way what I like too much. Now. That's what I like now. But it, it's never going to be enough. because nah, the it's people already, that damage it, is already done. Yeah, it? damage is done. Ne- negative, negative energy that's put out there is always going to get more traction and have, and have more kind of eyes on it than positive. And that's the problem when something like this happens is, is that the, the negative opinion that people put against something is what takes over and creates the narrative. Yeah. Mm. In situations like hers... That's that's quite sad that she's in a position where look for whatever like for whatever reason of maybe it was a bit too deep or whatever it was whatever deep she though. was trying I to can't say, remember what she said but it was a paragraph of stuff. like of my soul was I mean that's you know what look, I mean like but but the thing is there are people everywhere in the world that aren't famous yeah that talk we'll stuff that. Yeah, like yeah. that and she's that type of artist anyway she's and, deep and she's a deep yeah artist. it's just kind of like so, to a certain extent let people live their lives yeah. like if you don't agree with it fine but you don't need to hound someone yeah like yeah. it's because people like it's to your point people forget that they are real human beings in the, all right put it like this yeah imagine you mm. yeah put that up on your story and somebody who said who had the same energy for her Mm. put all of them opinions out into the universe and you did that and they didn't say something to you it's because either they know you or they think they might buck you one day yeah yeah that's why i hate this generation fam, mm. because they say things that they think they could just get away with because that, yeah. that 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 person's a celebrity they don't yeah. care about what i'm saying i'm just gonna yeah. put my opinion out there and let it just yeah. let's just see what happens in it that's mad yeah no it is mad if the last five years but especially the last couple years with covid and everything like that Mm. if if there's one thing that that's taught us is that it doesn't matter who you are in the world mental health is a thing that exists for everyone and is very fragile and very delicate and the idea that people um can have such an impact on someone and walk away from their keyboard is a very dangerous thing and it's it's like social responsibility is something that people really needs to be pushed to the forefront facts, of society facts, facts, and for facts, people facts. to realize facts. Facts. It's, 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 it's in the same situation yeah where it's come out that mo gilligan's missus is a white woman mm. right as soon as that came out i didn't need to look at the comment section i knew that what <laughs> i knew they what were, was going to be they, there they were going to sort him but you know the thing is with that stuff yeah it's like i can i like people always expect like especially 
Like in in that situation, people are like, okay, he's a black successful man, yeah. so automatically they'll want him to be with a black woman, so it can be like, ah, oh, black power, all of this stuff. And I hear it because some like you do like seeing that. Do you know what I mean? You like seeing mm. images of of what for me, what I'd want for for my future, or what other people want, whatever. Mm. But it's like, not everyone's like that. Mm. Like, the reality is, bro, I'm not going to make it bad shit, but man's actually always talking about the Julies, the couple of cans. Where do you think this bats comes from? He's around them. But that's also <laughs> the other side to this, is there's almost two, there's a complete split in the middle of the way people react to this stuff. Mm. One way is great, one way is annoying. Like, you've got the people that are going to go for him for that, like, oh, how can you be doing? And that's like... That's there in any of these realms of whatever it is. It's the same when we, like, I think we might even come on to it later, but like the Molly May situation is yeah, that people, yeah, yeah. there's people gunning for it and being angry about it. Yeah. And then there's the other reason it's trending and viral, which is because the internet is also the funniest place yeah, yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. Like I've had this conversation with people before. Don't you think it's mad to think that the internet gave us an entirely brand new sense of humor that didn't exist before mm. in the way you can apply it out of context things and whatever it might be people doing the, the things about uh him having his own julian whatever it was in the comments <laughs> people making the post where they're putting different quotes on what molly may said yeah. that's why something should go viral because you like it's funny yeah, to take make, stuff out yeah, of context and make yeah. it as long as everyone knows what we're dealing with we're yeah, dealing with yeah. something that's being taken out of context 100 percent. but i just not here for like people people do this weird thing right where let's say it's a black woman or a black man and it comes out that their partner is white, yeah? People do this odd thing where they almost imply that that person is less of a black person because they chose to be with a white partner. Mm. That is so weird to me. I just don't understand it. It's, just, it's like, very strange. Like, why does that make them less of a black person? I would love for somebody to explain that to me. It's, it's, if you, it's it's Explain strange. to me in the comments if you're one of those people. No, but it's, it's the thing is, I feel like it comes from a, a deeper place because I've had a few conversations around with, with people around it, like about um, black power and being being pro-black. Yeah. yeah. We've and had this conversation. And, and we, on the, on we've the, had it yeah. as well. And, and it's like, okay, can you be pro-black and be with a white person? Because yeah. that means you're not necessarily the way you're shaping your family isn't in that pro-black image. Do you know what I mean? The, the extremeness of it, yeah. But then it's like, I don't, like, I genuinely don't know because the reality is if he, what he's doing now, yeah, you can say he's doing more for black people in a position that he's in than a lot of people. Like, do you know what I mean? And it's like, he's never, you've never seen him have any scandal of any conversation around our, the guy's I'm a here. judge on the Masked Singer. Like, do you know like, what I mean? That's, like, he's, that's he, levels of, he's, that's like, do you know what I mean? He's like, opening so many doors for so many black people and right. showing that are oh, like, because I can do it, you can do it as well. He's with some, he's chose to be with someone, just let him be with that person. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be that deep. It's like, not, it, I think it's, uh, me as a white guy, it's not really something that I can speak on in any kind of, from a point of knowledge of it at all. But the, 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 the one thought I would have on the process is just that, like, you, you, you fall for who you fall for. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You can't, how can you, how can you kind of hold, not to get too cliche with it, but like you fall in love with someone, mm. it is what it is. Like it's whoever that person is and it, it, you, you, you make your life work. Dave loves love, you know. Yeah, yeah, he's a lover. He still. loves love. He's a lover still. Do you know what I'm saying? I like that, man. <coughs> I like that. I like, that, I like, that I like well. good energies. And you know what it is as Come well, on. when you get... I'm a little bit older than you two, but when you get not Obba, little, Obba, you bit. and Obba are like, little. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> Obba's 28. Like, you Stop lot saying kind of, that. And bro. this isn't even to say that <laughs> me saying I'm a little bit older isn't even to say that you two haven't experienced stuff because I know, I know both of you have, have gone through stuff in your lives. But when you get to a point of going through loads of stuff, you do have a moment of realization where you just realize that sometimes you need to just deal with the negativity of life when you have to deal with it and whenever mm. you have the choice focus on the things that are nice and when the things mm. that are nice and make you happy that's when you realize that actually it's pretty cool when something's good or 100%. when you see someone else in a situation where like they're not even in love just people being happy, happy. in their lives yeah, yeah, yeah. it's why that whole thing about like when you guys first started doing this it's one of those things that, and the maddest thing is this is funny is that it was actually uh so so uh one of the, uh, one of my girlfriend's friends messaged her at one point and said, "Oh, have have Dave and Seth fallen out?" <laughs> and she was like, w "Why? What's going on?" She goes, "Well, because 
Sav's just started this podcast with this other guy. <laughs> and she said, she, she's like, it's so weird how without knowing what. And I said, to her, I said, I was like, no, I said, this is like, I'm one of the people who's been saying to you for so long that you two should be doing this because yeah. it's, it's a, you look back when we were doing Agony Uncles on back on YouTube. We need Big that back. Gut. We need if that If we put you yeah, two yeah. on a sofa, that was funny, whatever it was, but when we put you two on a sofa, it was gold. So yeah, I was carrying and, it, but yeah. And when you two, and when you two launched <laughs> this, that point I'm making is that's one of those situations where you look and it's just like, good, this is good stuff happening in life and I'm mm. happy to see it. Come on. But I think that majority of the time where people don't, have that feeling is because of how they feel on a day to day in it especially in this climate where bitterness you're left yeah you're left to your own devices if you're not feeling successful or feeling like you're achieving anything when you see people happy or seeing someone that's successful or you have an idea of what success is to you and then you're seeing like a mo with someone that you're thinking oh like i can't believe is that the energy that you put out to hate on that surely it's not worth it. Mm. Could never be. It Imagine could never be taking that time. There's things that make me feel uncomfortable. Don't give me. All right, cool. Do you know what? This is actually a great question to ask both of you. Ha. Public displays of affection, right? Yeah. I'm currently a single man in it, so I ain't got to really worry about all that. But you love all that as well. I've seen you. Like, me? Yeah, in public. You're just. Look at him now. Just, you're just there, <laughs> feeling, hands are everywhere. That's you. Yeah. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> But as two men in relationships, what is your lot's policy on like PDA? Like how, where, where do you lot draw the line? Can me, right, let me, cause there's times, yeah, I'll be on the tube or something. I'll see man yamming his gal's face. Yeah, extreme. Yeah, or just, like, like, like chomping. Uh, extreme. Yeah, it gets mad Freakless in the meal. donya. Yeah. Like there's actually kids on the train yeah. and your grips and your gal's batty. Yeah. yeah. Tech time, brother. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, I've yeah? seen I've seen some extreme cases. The thing is, with me, it is. Are you holding hands with your girl? Yeah, hundred. Holding linking hands, arms, linking arms. Holding yeah, hands yeah, is yeah. a uh, come on. Yeah, come that's, no, but there's somebody like, don't do that. A little peck, a little kiss on the cheek. Maybe if yeah, you yeah. just finished like got finished a date and you know, oh, thanks. Like, you know what I mean? Or oh, like, so, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Tell a date. Like, cheers, but, cheers, love. <laughs> thank you. Same time next week. No, DC. but it's like it's like when I I remember I was doing a shoot the other other week here. And there was this couple, I swear to you, they were outside Camden Station for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Yamin. Just lipsing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Three just lipsing. And it was just non stop. They would stop for a sec. And then, then look deep into each other's yeah. eyes. Yeah. Oh. And I'm like, bro, go home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Just both of you leave. You could have like, gone to the Ibis yeah, already. You could have gone Travel Lodge or something. I, know I, can't, what that I is. can't do that. You know what that is? That's a couple where neither of them have a home situation where they can bring that other one back. <laughs> yeah, so they've got yeah, to savor those them. public yeah, moments. Yeah. Is what that is. It was, <sighs> it was, it was mad. But yeah, I can't, I can't do the extreme stuff. Like I can little peck here and no, there. I, 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 I mean. agree. The other thing that big, plays a big part You're for me. Don't chat shit, bro. Don't chat shit, bro. Don't try to turn See, it on guy, me. No, now. no, this guy, <laughs> this guy is capping, bro. Nah, a little, little cuddle on that, which is fine. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but. The other thing that plays a factor for me is yeah. also depends on who's around you. Mm, like right, right. situations in the past where like you, there'll be a, an old couple. Yeah. Like, and that's an elderly couple sitting somewhere. And you're like, you don't want to be doing anything when they're like, they're just sitting there having to deal with that in their yeah. space. But, like, yeah, have a little bit of thought for- But some man like that. You know, that, there's that's a, mad You know, though, there's certain man that, that will get, yeah, and then man smash her in front of this old couple. Nah. Like, you know that? And they'll, they'll yeah, they'll, they'll look, can I, they'll look can over I and say, give them- that, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That needs to be- in the Yo, and I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look down the camera for this. <laughs> if you are a person that, that thinks that like, I'm I'm the guy because I'm doing that, no one cares that you're doing that. And it's not, you're not even cool. It's the opposite end of the spectrum. It makes you look like like you're you're trying so hard. Yeah. But it's a young man thing, isn't it? Like you know, you know, like when you're young and you're like you go to your friends with like, oh and for my beat her in the alley, you you just say something yeah, mad, isn't it? Stupid. And then stuff, the man will be like, yeah. What you beat in the alley? Yeah. Like, you know, it's one of the it's a young man thing. Yeah. That but is. if you're <laughs> above the age of, I don't know, 23, 22, talking about come on, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's mad. a bit better. To stick on this topic, yeah, which is very <laughs> this this <laughs> this one is mad. Good. Yeah. A very respected man. In America, oh, was on an interview God. where he was talking about his mum. Oh my God! Teaching yeah, him, nah. teaching him how to lips, and I thought 
you know what? Hold on, this context. Is, um, context. This is Jim Jones. Right, yeah. I didn't want to say that, but it's Jim Jones. Jim Jones. You have to say his name. In he it. was on an interview with Angela Yee and her, uh, her podcast, whatever. And he was talking about when his mum taught him how to kiss. And I thought, okay, cool. Like, she must have just done the, like, hand action or the face action, whatever. He was, they were like, I think Angela was like, did she kiss you? And then he started smiling. And he was like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... like and he was like, all the time. And I was like, no. Bro. But then, plot twist, his mum came out and said that she didn't teach him that. And it wasn't like. Imagine, they didn't. sorry, imagine your mum having to come out and refute things you said. It's cap. I, I, it's definitely true. But I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe that madness because. Jim Jones and Biscuit. <laughs> How do you even get into that conversation? <laughs> I'm joking. I didn't need to remember that biscuit thing. <laughs> but how do you get into that conversation with your mum? Like, oh, like how do you like how do you kiss and then? But he was saying it like, you know, my mom. She was a young mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't make it all right, my brother. Because your mum was how old? Like, she was 17 or something when she had him. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's all right for her to lips you, like tongue in you. That whole situation oh, was one that, that that was it was it was hard to hear him have the conversation and people debate afterwards because it was just like this shouldn't be something we're talking about. No, it's not that thing. It's just it's like it, nah, Jim, use your words better <laughs> going forward. <laughs> yeah, Jim, you need to yeah, that 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 needs to pad up because he done a vid he done a video after as well saying oh like taking out of context someone was doing his hair or whatever and he was like oh yeah taking out of context. I didn't mean it like she actually taught me, but when he was doing the interview, you didn't make it seem any other way. The, yeah. the, the problem with the way the interview was done, it was almost like bec- they in the room at the time had confusion. Yeah. And so and asked for clarification. Yeah. Right. And, and he, he clarified. Right. That's where it was like, you can't, I, I, yeah. Like, I, what are you man doing in that situation? Because me, if, if I've got uh, a guest am sitting here. Oh, if I'm the person. If, if, I, if I've got a man sitting here like, telling me, I'd be like, what do you, what do you mean, like, bro? bro? That's weird, man. I would, if I was the person doing his hair, I'd stop doing his hair. That's for one thing. <laughs> you can finish that by yourself. No, nah, because that, that is weird. Like, that is, like, you can actually say, like, not to go in extreme, but it's abuse still. <laughs> that's <laughs> weird. Yeah, it's yeah that's still. not best. That. I yeah, don't know. Nah. I think if you're an interviewer in that situation, you either look at it two ways, right? You either think for the protection of what you wanted your interview to be in the first place, you, you move past it quickly onto something else. Or you in the moment think, okay, I might have an expose of something here. Yeah. We might actually be getting into something that's not just tell us when your next piece of music's coming crime. out. crime. And actually getting into something that could be, forget viral, but real. An actual discussion on, like you said, what does that actually mean? What is the situation there? I think it's a, it's a, t- it's, it's a tough call to make in the moment. And yeah. I think maybe, especially the way he carried on with the conversation after she asked it, I think she just kind of felt, well, he's taken us there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she was asking like little questions and that. But yeah, no, nah, if you if you did, don't be a Jim Jones. Yeah. Don't ask your don't even ask your parents how to lips. Don't even ask. That is just weird. Has your parents ever like sat you down and give you the talk about sex or about that kind of? I've never done that. No, They've never given no. me the talk about anything like that. My dad was always like, my dad would never bring up the safe. conversation. But if my dad ever, if if we was ever in a position where you'd ask my dad something, yeah. he'd, be, he'd be very good at talking about it in a way that was like, it wasn't cringe. It was all right. He was yeah, quite calm yeah. with it. it have, was have, good. have you not ever spoken to your parents about sex? Like, um, I don't think I have. Necessarily. I mean, I had, not, <laughs> I had, like, a, I had a, not in a serious, I, actually talking about stuff. Yeah, way. not, not nah. like that. My, my dad, my dad, like maybe step to step. Nah, yeah. but I've had a conversation where my dad was basically just like, just be like, just, just be safe. One <laughs> and the family name, <laughs> <laughs> the family name. Yeah, my my mum had that conversation with me and my brother of just saying. My mum said to us when we were younger. Like, and no offense meant to them, but yeah. just said, don't trust any girl that tells you whatever one way or the other is. What do you mean no yourself. offense to them? No, no, no. It's, it's no, but plain that's, fact. That, yeah, that's yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. That needs to be passed. So she, she, she just said like, you make sure you look after yourself in that situation. And it, but that was kind of the, the extent of it. With my mm. dad, it would be a bit, a bit more like you could ask him, it wasn't about sex. It was more like about relationships and stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like if ever going through, I don't know, a tough time of something or a breakup or whatever. My dad was very good at giving you just enough in, like of a conversation that you felt 
yeah. he's covered that for me and he's he's yeah. he, i can talk to him if i need to but would stop it just before it got a bit cringe and a bit like what are we doing here because mm -hmm. this is true though shout you, out to him you can't trust the gallon the drake situation oh, oh my yeah. i didn't think we were going to talk about this same I just had to bring it up quickly because it just now it's the perfect segue. I think that needs context for anyone that hasn't seen it. All right, cool. Whether it's true or not, right, there's a situation that's been brought to light by this female who claims she slept with Drake on a night where it was consensual and it was all, you know, it was all good. They went dinner or something and then like it's been romantic like a night. spill the tea page, hasn't it? Right, where yeah. the, the account of what happened. Cool. So she's basically said and detailed an evening where they had sex with each other. She went into probably a little bit too much detail for my liking where a lot of she's detail. actually detailing positions and things that they was doing right, what cool. they did most things about his manhood do you know what i'm saying just like what? it's unnecessary i didn't read all that still so. right so Bro, she talked about she talked about where they were position wise what he's like in terms of endowment she talked about and this is what i don't think drake comes out bad in the setup nah, of this not at all she talked about how he was very very uh keen to make sure everything was consenting yeah yeah but like she said oh he he laid that on and whatever um but actually reading it was like this is far too much detail but i'm not reading any of this and going wow what's he on yeah like yeah, yeah. in his position fair play that's what i'm saying until it gets to the point where in her words they finished up you get me he's gone to the toilet taking a condom right now she's gone to the toilet for the condom, okay? To go and get the sperm out of the condom and insert it within herself. That's yeah? what's, on this account of what happened, that's written by the person writing it from apparently her account. I don't know what's right or wrong about right. it. So, but that's what her aim was. To go and get the sperm. And this is what I'm saying. You can't trust these gal in the streets bro you can't trust people in no, general no. but yeah the gallim we're focusing on the gallim in this situation so anyway he's put hot sauce right in the condom to kill the sperm because it kills the sperm yeah again that's also debatable yeah people, no one no one knows if that is a thing but, and but, does work yeah I'm, but drake's yeah. been told it and he's living that life well, well yeah. this is the thing we're saying this as if just this hold all happened, on i'm getting tabasco <laughs> <laughs> Like, we don't know whether this is all real or what is fabricated or whatever. But anyway, he's put hot sauce in the condom. She's tried to insert it within herself. She's ended up burning her vagina and is now trying to sue my man. Yeah. Oh, so she's trying to sue um, him. Supposedly, yeah. She can't sue him. Do you don't know what it's like when you get, like, hot sauce or something in your eye? That is... Ooh. Can you imagine? In the vagina. No, but that's, that's... Not that I've got one, but that sounds mad. No, no, but <laughs> but, uh, but the, yeah, people no, are people. People are strange, man. People are, are scary. I can't even imagine what it's like to be famous with yeah, that type of attention. He has, that's how he has to go about I'd be scared. Businesses. Like, how's Meek sleeping with 15, 16 gallon in one night? And then one's crying. Like, I can't lie Says to you. she don't want to leave at 5 a.m.? Like, you've had the night here, <laughs> love. <laughs> go home. <laughs> Not still. Uh, I don't know, man. I'd just be scared if I was a celebrity. It would be NDA like, central. You'd yeah. have to sign an NDA. Don't mention. Don't even say my name ever. Yeah. If you say my name, you you're bankrupt. Yeah. Supposedly, I, again, it's all rumor. But there was supposedly someone else that posted afterwards saying that that that, that whether it was this time, but apparently in the past has been a thing that I can't remember if they said it was Drake, but the artists in general had like whether they were seen with a, with a guy or a girl had ndas put in front of people no i've i've heard yeah. of that as well yeah I've heard, I've i don't heard. i don't like if you're if you're a, a single person or whatever if you're someone that's going to be sleeping with multiple people and and you're in the public eye like that you do have to make certain assurances to protect everything about you your family your Hundreds. your, your potential family in this situation of what you know could potentially happen down the line mm. yeah yeah, so look, there's a being being a celeb is long, but yeah, let's go on to you know the main the main, main topic, take topic focuses on that anyway. Yeah, being a main, celeb the, is long. Being a celeb, but yeah, this one is kind of self inflicted. Do you know what I mean? If you haven't seen it, you, I don't know where you have been online anyway. But Molly May obviously yeah. had an interview with Steve Barnett, I believe his name is mm. um, uh, Bar Barrett, Bar Bar Barrett 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 Bar Bartlett Bar 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 Yeah, oh, well, 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 yeah, and. He, I'm just known as Steve anyway, yeah, but yeah. Um, he's a very famous like entrepreneur, 
podcast, owner of though. business and stuff. Yeah. He's got a podcast where he interviews people and talks about how they became famous, uh, how they be- got their money and yeah. all of this stuff, yeah. Obviously, Molly May went on it. Haven't watched the full thing, but I've seen a few clips from it. And there was one clip that went viral, yeah, yeah. where she basically was talking about a quote that she uses to motivate herself. And the quote is, we've all got the same 24 hours as Beyonce, yeah. And when she said that quote, that was one thing, but then she started talking on about how when she said it in the past, people have like basically boyed her and said that she don't know what she's on about, but she, she thinks that literally we have all the same 24 hours and no one really, yeah, she knows that different circumstances of different people, but at the same time, we still have the same 24 hours. Yeah. So that clip went viral yeah. and she's been getting slaughtered yeah, yeah. online. And first of all, in my opinion, I think that I see both sides, yeah. I see the side of saying that you've got 24 hours and how you use it is is down to you and I'm not going to go into circumstance too much because obviously everyone's circumstances is different in it. Mm-hmm. But I do believe that, f- what, one, she's not the first person that says that, so sure. she didn't deserve that much corn. Mm. But also, technically, if you want... I've seen a lot of people at that level, mm. yeah, talk about 24 hours and how much, like, you literally just have to be on, yeah? And if that's what she meant then fair enough because a lot of people have used that same that same ideology and it's worked for them in it but on the other side some people are really disadvantaged some mm-hmm. people circumstances they can they they the 24 hours that they have in a day isn't enough to even accomplish what they want to do you know what i mean mm-hmm. and i feel like mm-hmm. because of the quote that was taken out and how she seemed so not heartless but like she Adamant. didn't yeah, adamant, and she didn't care about yeah. anyone else's situation. That's why I feel like she's she's receiving. She that came, much corn. She came across as insensitive, mm-hmm. is what people have been basically saying. Is that by saying that everybody's has exactly the same amount of time to achieve what she's achieved is what, kind of what she's saying, right? Like mm-hmm. I've got to the level I am. I've got the same twenty four hours as you. You could do this as well. Mm-hmm. It's kind of implying that it's a level playing field, mm-hmm. right? And it's, it's just not, is it? It's just not a level playing field. Now, having said that, you made a good point and you said off camera as well, bruv, do you know how many people have said exactly the same thing that she has said before? So many so people. So many, bro. But it's because it's Molly May, yeah, that people have a mad gripe. Mm. Like, I think it's also the case that, as you said, it was something that she'd originally said before and got a lot of backlash from. Yeah. And so she brought it back up again on this podcast, addressing the fact that she got backlash for it. Now, my only issue, I actually, I don't hold anything against Molly May for saying this. The girl's also, she's 22. Like, yeah. I guess she, she's she's in the public eye, cool and whatever. But like, I, it's one of those things where when you hear it, it's like, I know she didn't mean exactly how it come across. Yeah. It come across a bit ignorant, cool. I get that. But I get, but... I feel like we need to know the level of to how much you're calling someone out for something before it becomes like, what are we doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my one thing I would say to her, because this was the choice that she made in, in, in that discussion, was if you were bringing it up because it was something you'd received backlash for in the past, if you were going to b- b- raise that topic again, you have to have a better way of it. of explaining what yeah. you meant by it. Hundred, yeah. because you're, you surely she should have only been bringing up the backlash that she's got for saying that in the past, mm. if she wanted to clarify where she was coming from. The problem was she didn't clarify where she was coming from no. at all. And and even because the rest of the interview, like she does, she she talks on a lot of other things, and I think she it, it, you clip something out out of context. Obviously, she is getting a hard time, but. I, I just think the whole thing was a bit of a, like, she probably shouldn't have talked about it if she wasn't going to address it in a better way than she did, yeah, if facts. she chose to bring it up. Facts. People need to realise that people make mistakes and say stupid stuff sometimes. Facts. And it's also one of those things where as much as we all have something that's trending and viral, like, this has gone for a while now. Yeah, this yeah. has been Stop still... It. And it's yeah. like it's come back. She's put out the apology thing. It's like, I hate that's part of the process now in life. Of people yeah. making this, you have problem, to apologize to the point now where footballers do it when they miss a penalty or whatever. Yeah, which is oh, just like, come on. That. But you know what? The thing is with me, yeah, that like, I don't have anything against Molly May, yeah, 
and I, I respect what she's done mm-hmm. from from her time on Love Island, yeah. But I feel like a lot of people, me as well to a certain extent, but it's like, you know, we always say, and you've said it when you did that thing on Vibe where you um, did the pretending to go on Love Island thing and like actually thinking, oh, if you went on Love Island, it could take you off to a, like everyone knows that if you go on Love Island, you have a better opportunity of blowing in whatever mm. you're doing. Not saying that she wasn't working beforehand, yeah. It's already made platform. Though. Yeah. So I'm not going to lie. Bro, people just, that just quickly before you even get into that just so that people have an understanding yeah i didn't even go on the show i was never registered to go on the show yeah. right and i was getting dms from brands yeah. saying come and i'll give you clothes yeah. i was getting dms from like travel agencies we'll, we'll send you here we'll send you there i just been in the sun yeah. so and imagine going context, on the show the, the dms and the, the, the for even more context because i think well i think we forget because we were there that there's a lot of people that don't realize we were doing that at that time so for context yeah. on the uh, is it still on, up on, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on watch byb that the, the the snapchat show that me and sav have we used to do youtube stuff as well um and when we were doing youtube we made a video where we basically tried to trick the press into thinking sav was going on love island it paid off very well what? Yeah. um much <laughs> like more than we ever thought would happen ever. it was a bit of a social experiment to see if if nonsense could be picked up and taken and it yeah. went everywhere but that's that's the context, context around where that come yeah. from but that's what, like my thing is yeah if you go on love island yeah, yeah i'm sorry you cannot tell me how to use my 24 hours why? a day because what's them being on love island got to do with anything because you, you know why yeah like i'm not taking it away i'm not taking the work that she done after yeah yeah and i'm not taking the work she done before but okay. going on that show like she knew and like everyone that goes on that show does know it is it's like it's almost like a trampoline like you it depends on how you use it because we've seen people that go on the show and they've not been successful yeah. but we will blame them it's the because, mushroom on mario kart yeah you take that you're gonna you're, fly you, yeah. you, you can fly bro and and the reality is we've seen how many of them that have been on that show especially in the last what five years yeah. that on a million followers even if they just wanted to use their platform to just mm. live they're on they a, could. they're on they're on half a million when they come out. They haven't even done any of the like influencer building work or whatever it is after. Yeah. They they come out and they've got that platform. And like, it's just it's just e it's just e like it's easier. Like, do you know what I mean? And yeah, that's yeah. why I feel like a lot of people are onto her in a sense because she's not she's not famous for being like an like she is she's she's coming up out of that energy now because of what she's doing with PLT and everything, who actually backed her and said She's still our creative director. We're gonna be behind her. Yeah, I kind of rate that though. Yeah, yeah. because like they, they've invested. They've because invested. It's one of those things where it's like I feel like sometimes in our day and age, brands even can It'll be a bit, bit trigger happy on yeah, this stuff. Yeah, hundred, hundred, and can just go a bit. Oh God, something online was. It's like you, you, you knew she was someone that divided opinion. Mm. She's twenty two. Yeah, like you young. can't, you can't expect a twenty two year old to be perfect. No. Facts, like. Come on, it's it, we just because she's in the public eye and she's got six and a half million followers mm. doesn't mean she's Mother Teresa. Mm. Do you get it? You just she is who she is. She's gonna make mistakes. We're watching her grow up. Facts. Yeah. But the thing is with that, and also, and and it's, it sounds like I kind of hey, but I don't. I genuinely respect how she's come up, yeah, from mm. that show, yeah, mm. and the fact that she's actually tried to just stay away from being associated with it because she doesn't want it to be a part of her story, yeah, but. She's 22, like you said. She's yeah. a creative director of PLT. Yeah, right. there's been a lot of, even when she got that job, there was a lot of, of backlash because of how PLT even run their business. Yeah, the fact yeah, that yeah. there's people that are probably got so much more experience than her to do that job. Yeah. But because of the clout that she got from what the show. Right. Yeah. So it's like, with all of this coming in, in into your story and it's a part of your story now, yeah. when you say things like that, the reason why people like, who was the other, who was the other person that was was it Jim Carr that was on it, that was on the Steve Steve's podcast. Oh, he's been on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sure he said something similar about 24 hours, but he's come up as different because he's like, you've almost seen his graft, like his actual mm. graft. And it's the yeah. context around that quote. We understand what's meant by that. Like mm. you've got the same 24 hours. It's like if you can all, everyone can work towards something that they want to do yeah. but but what's not taken into account is the fact that there's 
millions upon the vast majority of people in the world aren't afforded the same luxury in terms of the life you live to begin with to be able to be able to put this stuff into practice yeah. people have things in their life that make everything more difficult than the situation she's had and that's not saying she hasn't had hardship i imagine she has yeah. but it's the it's the coming out with the quote that doesn't in any way give that side of it enough respect for the people watching i think is where people got caught up yeah it's people not feeling seen or heard in it mm. like when somebody says that oh you could be doing just as well as i am if you utilize your time better you That's feel attacked, you're, you're, ta it? you're taking the piss I'll, you feel I'll attacked. Say this. Yeah. this is my call on the whole thing i think this might in the course of the next few years it might be one of the best things that could have happened to molly may mm. because things like this give you an opportunity to grow as a person it gives her an opportunity to whereas one of her downfalls before might have been she might have been ignorant to things mm. she now might feel she has to do the legwork to not be might go and do whatever it might be even if it's like put a brand focus for the sake of the publicity community work mm -hmm. whatever these things might be she might end up down the line being we know people we know people that have had situations in their past where it felt like they were on the verge of losing a job for something that they'd done yeah. mm. people that now when given the chance to show afterwards can you grow and be more professional are in great positions and much better at their job as a result of it yeah. i i'd like to hope this is a situation similar to that for molly may mm. yeah and again like i think it this is not us saying that what she said weren't silly because it was a bit silly Really? Like the way it was said, it was a little bit so silly, innit? Cool. It's like, it's like saying that. This is what I never used to understand when people used to say, "Our oh, life is like it's like chess." Life is not like chess, because it seems so chess straightforward, is man. a level playing field. Yeah. You both have the same amount of things. You both have the same amount of power. Mm. D d people are born into great, not greatness, but people are born into certain levels of economic wealth and some people are born into poverty. Her parents were feds, bro. She had two feds <laughs> as parents. She even gloated of it like, oh, when I was in school, I liked being the, the child to, to police officers because no one would mess with me. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. didn't have any problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but genuinely, and I think it even stems from her time in the villa, yeah, she's been hated. Like, I remember when it was coming, oh, she doesn't even like Tommy. Yeah. She doesn't even want to be with him. It's all for television. And now what? Mm. Yeah, I think you've you, you, you got to look at it now. That that thing is you've got to look at it now and go, okay, outside of, I've got to rack my Love Island brain here, but like, uh, I know you watch it. Olivia and Alex. I didn't watch that season. But so, okay, but so them, like outside of them who are now married and I think expecting oh, a kid yeah, or that yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, who are the couples that have lasted? Yeah. Yeah. Tommy and Molly May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't Fair even play. know who you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know the Olivia and Alex. But with Alex, know, you know, he's, you know? he's like a blonde you like wham, yeah, wham. Yeah, yeah. He's got brand tattoos. Like, and yeah, yeah. Lucy and Luke. Is it Lucy and Luke? Is it Luke? Luke Lu Lucy, who was the, the surfery girl. Surfer, yeah. She's with the other Don that was with, like they switched couples. Luke and Alex together. Mad. That's mad. Is it not? Is that a different season? Yeah, I don't know. But you know what's funny? The mo mo there's certain motivational speakers I've heard in the past, yeah who said some funny things and it's like when you listen to it it sounds proper inspirational motivational and you deep what a man is saying yeah like there was a guy he goes imagine you're walking into the water this is not verbatim you might have even seen this it went viral yeah but something along the lines of imagine you're walking into the water and a man comes up behind you and put gets his hand on the back of your head and puts your head under the water he's drowning you what is the one thing in that moment that you want to do you want to breathe right you want to fill your lungs with air and you want to breathe. That's what he's saying, yeah? You've got to think about your life and success as if you want to breathe, right? And what I mean by that is, until you want to succeed as much as you want to breathe, you ain't going to do it. And it's like, fam, <laughs> I need to breathe, bro. <laughs> like, fam, of course. Well, that, 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 like, you know, the wildest thing of that is, is I'm, I'm with you, but that's the kind of shit he posts. <laughs> <laughs> he loves that stuff. It's I, true, you go on some story. I, you nah. would, you'd click that out and post that. <laughs> yeah, no, but you know, would, wait, you know what the magic is? I just want to breathe. <laughs> the caption, the caption, I just want to breathe. 
You know what the maddest thing about that is? He remembered the word for word, so it died its job, bro. No, it's gone it in. Died it's gone. Of course it's, it's gone, gone in. in. It was everywhere. Have you no, but seen you know, that you know what? Don't try and get onto me in it, because the reality is, <laughs> everyone needs motivation. A hundred percent, hundred percent. Sometimes those ones are extreme. Because <laughs> yeah. it's like, bro, just tell me that I need to see. Like, you don't have to give me an analogy right. like that. But like, you know. Some people take things in differently, innit? Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. like, I can hear it. I can hear it. I get it, fam. But just breathing? Like, come on, fam. Well, everyone needs to breathe. Until yeah. you want it to that level. Like, yeah. well, I, I die if I don't do it. Like, okay, <laughs> is that what nah. we're dealing with? Well, anyway, Molly May, uh-huh. you, you've learnt your lesson. You've learnt your lesson. Um, if you want to address those points, Molly May, there's no better place for you to do it than come to OTR. You yeah. get it. We won't pay you, though. So, you yeah. know... <laughs> I'm like, not being paid. <laughs> <laughs> this is out of love. Who is here because of love in it? So yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, this has been a, a a great a great episode, man. Yeah, I, I, actually, actually has. I've been a great episode. It. So the white rhino in full effect. In full the effect. You get me. Full effect. We're gonna. Be, you're definitely. Rhino. You're definitely gonna be here again in it. So yeah, it's actually, not. It's not even a thing like that. But make sure everyone you follow us all on the socials as well. We're on TikTok. We're on. We're gonna be on Twitter soon. Instagram, YouTube, subscribe, all of that stuff. And yeah, man, we'll catch you next Rebound. time. I don't even get to plug me. Wow. Why would you plug you? Wow. You, Madness. Like, well, we've just plugged you. I said they should follow you. Did they? Did you? Yeah. You said you should follow you lot. Yeah, us. <laughs> We're one. <laughs> the care and attention for your guests here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. Peace.